Hi, this video is about the Caribou Mathematics Contest. I'm going to show the solution for the October 2015 Grade 3-4 Contest, Question 11, which also came up in the Grade 5, 6, and 7, 8 Contest. So the question is, identical letters stand for identical digits and different letters for different digits. For example, AB will be a two-digit number. Determine the value of the letters such that all three horizontal computations and all three vertical calculations are correct. Which of the following statements is correct? So what we have shown on the board is a calcrostic, which is the exact same calcrostic shown in the question. All right. Now in this calcrostic, we have three horizontal equations and also three vertical equations. And now each of these letters has a different value from the others. So for example, A could have a value of three, B could have a value of four, and then now since they're together, this would be like 34. And now we would have plus, since we know B is four, so 34 plus four, that would equal to 38. And that would mean that C would have to equal to eight. All right, now let's get started. Now, what we want to do is find the easiest equation. Well, how do we find the easiest equation? Well, it's the equation with the least unknowns. And what that means is it's the equation with the least number or least letters that we don't know the value to. So that would be this middle equation right here, which is d divided by d is equal to a, because there's only two letters, two different letters, with unknown values, and that would be a and d. All right, so now let's start with this equation. So d divided by d is equal to a, and this is a nu and any number divided by itself must equal to one. That means that a must equal to one, and we will circle this just so we know that it must be true. All right. <clears throat> Now up here, let's look at this equation. Well, we have here, it's a special because we have b plus b, well, ab plus b, but we have the same letter added on, added to itself, and then equals to ac. And since we already know a, again, here are only two letters which we have unknown values for. All right, so since b can't be one, let's say b is one more than one is two. So let's try b equals to two. All right, so we would have 12 plus two is equal to 14. So c would equal to four. And now let's look at this equation here because again, we have minus d equals to d. So this is another special equation. So since we have a and here we have a, we can just forget about the a's. So it's like saying b minus d is equal to d. So it would be 2 minus d equals d. The only way that would work is if d were 1. But we already know a must equal 1. Therefore, this doesn't work, and b cannot equal to 2. Now, again, if we look at this equation, forgetting about the a's, it's like saying d plus d is equal to b, well, because that's the same thing as b minus d is d. Well, if you have a number added on to itself, it's like two times a number, it can't be an odd number. So that means that b must be an even digit. And just for clarification, even numbers are numbers that end in 0, 2, 4, 6, and 8, and odd numbers are numbers that end in 1, 3, 5, 7, and 9. Okay. Now we know that b couldn't equal to 3 because it's odd. Let's try b equals to 4. All right. So we have 14 plus 4 is equal to 18. So that already works, right? Because the a still stays 1. So c would equal to 8. And here we would have, well, we would have 14 minus, well, again, forgetting about the a's, we would have 4 minus d is d d would have to equal 2. So that would also work. All right, well, we know that b equals 4 could work. We don't know about the rest, but for now it could work. 
Now let's try the next even number is 6. Alright, so we have 16 plus 6 equals the, oh, well that would equal the 22, but we know A has to equal to 1. So therefore if we have 16 plus 6 is 22, this would not work. Therefore, B cannot equal to 6, and therefore can't equal to 8 or anything higher. Therefore, B must be equal to 4. Alright, so we already showed that 14 plus 4 is 18. That means that C equals to 8, and we know that must be true. So we'll circle that because we know that's true. And here we would have 14 minus 2 is equal to 12. So we know D must be equal to 2. So we'll circle that too. And now all we have to find out, we have A, B, C, and D. All we need to figure out is what E is. Well, we have two equations with D is this and this. We already know B and D, and B is 4, plus D is 2, so 4 plus 2 is 6, so E must equal to 6. Now just to prove this, we know that 14 minus 2 is 12, and 12 plus 6 is equal to 18. 18 times 1 is 18. Therefore everything works, and we know that these values must be correct for the letters. So A is 1. B equals to 4, C is 8, D is 2, and E is 6. Now let's look at the possible options. <clears throat> Alright. So our first option is A equals to 2. That's wrong because we know A is 1. So that's not that's false. B, B equals to 2. No, we know B is 4, so that's also false. C, C equals to 2. Again, that's false because C is equal to 8. D, D equals to 4. Well, we know D is 2, so that's wrong also. E equals to 4. No, E is 6, so again, that's wrong too. Then option F, E equals to 6. Well, we know that's correct. And finally, option G, D equals to 6. No, D is 2. Therefore, we know that option F is correct because it says E equals to 6. If you'd like to know more about this contest, please feel free to visit our website at caributests.com.